Hi guys, Stacy Burke here, and I'm wearing one of my St. Patrick's Day shirts. Now, it's not St. Patrick's Day yet, but I have so many of these shirts that I figured I'll start wearing them um, for the month, because <laughs> I have so many of them. I can't wear it. This is the only month I can wear them, so I might as well do it before the 17th. And excuse me if I keep doing this. I've got pins and needles in the nose for those of you that, that have allergies I just get little pins and needles in the nose sometimes. But I just wanted to give a little shout out to everyone and say hi. And one of my new finds um, that I'm going to start out with, I found these at the store. Banana Twinkies. They're normal Twinkies, but with banana cream filling inside. They're so good. They're so yummy. It tastes like banana cream pie. It's hard to just stop at one, but I did. I only had one for uh, breakfast, so. And of course, Girl Scout season is in, is right now. You've probably seen Girl Scout girls like everywhere on the corner, like selling their cookies. That sounds bad, but yeah, they're selling cookies, and so we have some cookies too. So I got so much. Plus, my friend's Ed's birthday's coming up this weekend. My friend. Reg, excuse me, birthday weekend, so I've been buying lots of Twinkies and Ho-Hos and lots of cakes and stuff, so that's going on. And also I watched uh, Trisha Paytas, a video about the Sub-D. Yes, girl, it works awesome. I love it. I noticed a difference. This chart's almost gone. They're supposed to send me a new one because if you go on their website, and you sign up, it's only $50 for like the first group of ones, but then they start charging you and then you get a, it's like a subscription sale. So I actually can't wait till it comes in. Can't wait. Okay, what do I want to talk about? There's so much going on. First of all, Roy, who my husband, who used to work from home, uh, got promoted and now he has to go into the office. Well, if you don't know, he has one eye, and the good eye is not good. He's legally blind. He's been getting up at 5.30. Now, I get up at 4.30. So after i done taking my shower, I wake him up. He gets up at 5.30. He gets all ready, and he puts on his bike riding gear. Like he's one of those bike riders that you probably hate on the road. And he rides his bike like 20 miles to work on the bike trail. And I worry about him because it's still dark and, you know, bike riders, there's accidents happen. They don't get seen on the road and he can't really see. Like literally, he's legally blind. And sometimes he has his earbuds in, which I hate. So he's basically blind and deaf. And then also he has so much on the bike. Um... Like he has his computer. Oh, I, I pray I, that he gets home and he makes it safe. But he leaves at 6.30 and he's gone all day. And he gets home around 5, a little after 5, 5.30. And then all he does is put his bike away and go straight to the gym. Works out and then comes home. So he's been doing really good. I'm very proud my husband so that's a good thing going on with us and I'll probably do another vlog about other things with us but that's the good part going on this week last week I worked with um, Tylene Buck and if that name sounds familiar she's a wrestler she used to be popular like in the late 90s like if you saw late night TV shows and they were selling those DVDs for backyard wrestling she did that, and she was very popular. She's still very popular, very beautiful, and she was in town, and for Double Trouble, I got to wrestle her. I got to be Daisy Chain again. If you don't know who Daisy Chain is, uh, George Perez, who is a famous comic book artist um, that used to work for DC Comics, he's a good friend of mine. He created me as Daisy Chain, which is a superheroine, 
and his wife actually made me the outfit. Now the outfit has seen better days. I need a new outfit. But every so once, once in a while, I'll get um, a call for Daisy Chain. I'll get the Daisy Chain call. Da -da -da -da, and Daisy Chain comes out and sh she works. And it was, uh, we fought like an evil clown. We fought a monster. Um, all the details is at stacyburke.com. And I'm sure the video will be up for sale soon at DT Wrestling. And I shot a behind-the-scenes video, which is on my site at stacyburke.com, if you go to the Fetish to Go section. So that is all up there right now. And um, if you notice, on my Instagram, I've been doing a lot of pictures and stuff because uh, I'm trying to, you know, because I have photos, but I'm trying to put them out there. So I'm trying to figure out Instagram. And I figured that's probably the best place to put all my photos from my time at the Playboy Mansion. Because Instagram is known for pretty photos and stuff like that. And I could kind of fix them. Because most of the pictures that you're going to see up there is me taking a picture of a picture. Then it's on my phone. And then I play around with a filter to make it so you can see it better. And then I'll put it on Instagram. So if you want to see most of my Playboy pictures, I think... That's mainly what I'm going to use it for because Twitter, I put up random photos. I'll just put up whatever. But Instagram, I don't think I was going to use it for random, but then I thought, no, Instagram is more like a pretty picture place. So maybe that's well where I'm going to put most of my Playboy photos up. Which one of the ones that I'm going to put up is um, some of, some people that I took pictures with are not with us anymore. So going through them brings back some memories. Like um, there's one of me with Jasmine Fiore, Fiore, Fiore. I don't really know how to pronounce her name, but I'll put um, her name right here, Jasmine Fiore. Um, one time at the mansion, this pretty blonde girl was was talking to me and. She gravitated towards me because she knows how I got married, how it was like instantaneously, like literally we got married almost as soon as we met and we were wild and crazy and she was asking advice because she just got married and they were, it was just so quickly that he has problems and I go, oh yeah, and I was talking about me and my husband, I go, we're like Pam and Tommy Lee, we're like, not really violent, but we're just like, chaotic we're like that couple we're drama couple we're the type that sometimes our friends like oh god i don't know if we want to invite them you know stacy and roy we don't know we want to invite them because that's us we're getting better even though some of the stories i'm going to tell you later you're going to say no you're not getting better but we are but it was just two personalities clashing Anyway, she was asking advice, and we were, I was talking to her, and I go, you know, it'll, it'll probably get better, da, da, da. Like, she goes, she just met this guy, and I'm going to Vegas, and he's a poker player, and it's crazy, but she loves him, and she wants to make it work out, and she just kind of gravitated towards me because we kind of had similar stories. And I, you know, and then when... Um, she didn't come back to the mansion. I didn't think anything of it because a lot of times girls come and go. And then all of a sudden, in the news, um, I'm sure if you Google her name, uh, the guy that she was with, things turned really ugly. And he killed her. And I, I don't want to like verbalize all the details because I don't want to misremember and not get it correctly. So... I will put a link so you can find out the details if you want to know the details. But basically, he strangled her and he killed her. And then he panicked because he didn't want to get busted. So he took out her teeth with pliers and he cut off her fingers so she, they couldn't find her, her um, fingerprints. And I think he chopped off her head, but I'm not sure. And he stuffed her in a suitcase. And I think they put her in the dumpster. Well, they found her. And how they identified her was she had breast implants and had the serial number 
in them. In fact, because of her, she actually, if you can find any silver lining, it kind of will help other crimes be solved because uh, she was the first one they identified through serial numbers in her breast implants. And that's how they, they, they identified her and they found out who she was and who she got married to and, they, and with surveillance p cameras. and Anyway, they finally found him and I think he committed suicide because he was on the run and he committed suicide. It's just a very tragic, tragic story. And it's like one of those stories where I wish I knew then what I know now. But then again, who knows if I could have stopped it or not. It's just really sad because she was really sweet. She was really loving. You could just tell, you know. She, she was beautiful. She was just young. She's starting out. She's just... And it had to end up like that. And uh, and I remember talking about him. And uh, so I'll, I'll put in short pictures of her. Uh, here and um, yeah, follow me on Instagram for more pictures. And I just want to put a little tribute out there. Or I know they did a thing like on Dateline or on Owned. I think I saw it where they 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 did a little more of her story and they interviewed people that knew her that actually knew her way better than I. I only met her like one, maybe two times the most. But that one day was struck me. She kind of just we hung around all day. I showed her the the monkey cages, and we just talked. We just talked because, she, like I said, she gravitated toward me because she kind of had similar things that I had, and she just wanted to get advice, and, you know, we just kind of bonded over that. So um, I want to give a shout-out to her, Jasmine. And, uh, yeah, I met a lot of really special people at the Playboy Mansion, very special, and she's one of many. And that I'll probably talk about. So I think I'm going to end that blog on that because all the other stuff I'll talk about later. And because uh, there's a lot of other stuff I want to talk about. But um, I love you all. I hope you're having a great day. <laughs> and peace. And I hope you have a great St. Patty's Day. All right. Bye. Oh, and if you get a chance, try the Twinkies banana. Yeah. Sub D, plasma sub D for the neck. Awesome. Bye. Have a groovy day.